days we were young and had nothing to do I used to pick you up and drive to a place we could talk for hours mm. Sometimes we'd run out of words to say but we didn't mind Cause we could lay on the ground and just stare into each other's eyes And I Remember when you kissed me I felt the taste of your lipstick Even the breath of your rib jeans I can still see it all We ran on top of buildings Just like a scene from a guys I don't come on here and show my face a whole lot because if I'm being honest with you I don't really like to look at myself on camera but I wanted to just come on here and talk to you for just a second I'm going to get started here cleaning but today's video is going to be all about just showing you kind of how I maintain a clean home we talked about this in last week's video so if you haven't seen that video definitely head over and check that one out first but we talked about like letting stuff pile up and getting out of control versus maintaining and keeping a clean home. I talked about how my home is for the most part almost always clean because of just simple steps that I take every day to keep up with everything. So I'm gonna kind of go through and show you. I was about to like go clean my house like I normally would anyways and I said okay I'm gonna pick up the camera and just bring you guys along and show you this isn't for a cleaning video. This is just stuff that I was going to do today. So that's what today's video is going to be. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and it helps you guys. I'm going to try my best to give you like my best tips, but I feel like they're super basic and nothing groundbreaking, but who knows, maybe it will help someone. So let's go ahead and get started. Say hello YouTube. I got my hair cut and so I'm wearing pajamas because I get really cold if mommy doesn't put jammies on, huh? Say hello. Everyone always asks what breed Tucker is. He's a Morky Poo. He's a Maltese, a Poodle, and a Yorkie. And he's about nine years old, I think. Right? No, eight. He's like eight years old, nine years old. I don't even know. I think he's nine. Are you nine? You sweet boy. Okay, so I'll just show you kind of really quick. This is like just one day of accumulated stuff. This is how my living room will look on any given day, just some toys and things like that. And then the pillows obviously messed up a little bit. And then baby toys, it won't take me long at all. I'd say I could clean this room. 10 minutes would be honestly more than what I need, but let's go ahead and just tidy it up really quick.
I am a huge fan of Cincy, so I'm gonna be using the Cincy Fresh in Clothesline, which is one of my favorites, since you can get this in the Cincy Fresh in the wax bars, you can get it in um, the little pods, you can get it in um, car, the car scent things, you can get it in almost everything. If you're familiar with Scentsy, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, I'm sorry. You just have to go on Scentsy's website, but a lot of y'all, I'm surprised, don't know what Scentsy is, and I do talk about it a lot here on my channel, but that's what this is. It's just a fabric refresher like Febreze, but literally 10 times better. So I'm going to take this and spray it on my pillows and blankets just to freshen them up. Okay, and then this is my wax warmer from Cincy, and I think this one is called the Twinkle Lights, and I am going to put a new scent in it, and to do that, I just am going to take cotton balls, which you guys, I've shared this hack 500 times, um, you guys already know, and then I'm going to put in this walnut raisin muffin, it's actually my last one, this was a fall scent, so, so good, so I'm going to take out what I have in there and put my new scent in. And the reason that I like using the cotton balls is because it's quick and easy and instant. It usually takes about two cotton balls to soak up about two cubes of wax. I usually melt two in there, one to two. It just depends on my mood, I guess, that day. Um, so think of like one cotton ball per cube that you used and it just instantly soaks up that wax. You can save this wax and use it as a fire starter if you go camping or if you have like a fire pit and you do s'mores, these will work as fire starters. So my cousin actually keeps them in a sandwich bag and brings them when we go camping and riding and that we use those to start our fire. So there's a little hack for you. But anyways, I am just going to put my new wax cube in here and that will melt down and make my whole downstairs, that, just that one wax cube will literally like make my entire downstairs smell good. But if you know me, you know I have like 10 wax warmers, so I'll probably be putting another <laughs> scent in my kitchen too. And that will last, probably that scent will last about four days, depending on the scent, two to four days. Okay, everything is freshened up and clean in here and ready for my kids to mess it up again. But at least I can relax in it hopefully a little bit before they tear it up. I got these candles at Big Lots, the set of three, and they come with a timer. I love them so much. And they actually had a little, one of these, whatever you would call that, that had like little pumpkins on it. Um, and I just put that up for Christmas time. I'm probably going to keep these here year round and then I'll just put the little pumpkin thing around it in the fall. But I think it was $15. So... I just thought I would share that in case anyone was wondering where I got those from. But yeah, all clean. We have our Christmas tree over here. I've got a few presents wrapped underneath. I have a bunch more to wrap. I've got a lot of wrapping to do actually. So I'm thinking about doing that definitely this week. But we're gonna move on to the kitchen now. Just kidding, before we move on to the kitchen, I wanted to show you, so let me kind of show you the layout. So when, this is our front door. When you walk into our front door, this is, oh, I love 
my house so much, you guys. Um, when you walk into our front door, you have this area, and then off to the left is my office. There's my Tucker boy. Oops, it focused on my finger. There's my Tucker boy in the living room that we were just in. The stairs to go upstairs. That's the basement. And then obviously the kitchen is in there. And then off to the right is our dining room. And right now our dining room is actually, you, um, my husband is using it as his office because he's in college. And so I was going, I was on my way to the kitchen and I was like, oh no, I actually want to straighten up in here too because like I was saying earlier, or in last week's video, I just don't thrive in cluttered spaces. And I know that this is literally nothing to most people, but to me, this is a lot. So I don't know if that's just like an anxiety thing or a personality thing, but to me, this is a lot. We have like a package and then his cereal bowl and just mail. It will literally take me three minutes <laughs> to just straighten this up. So I'm gonna do that really quick. I've been going crazy, I don't know what to do My heart is screaming for you, babe And what I'm trying to say is that you make the sky look blue Even when it is gray, babe Every time I'm feeling down You can make it go away Your light is shining bright on me Got no reason to be afraid I do have the baby swing in here right now because I don't really know where to put it. Normally we keep it where the Christmas tree is and honestly he's grown out of it but it's really hard for me to get rid of certain things. Um, I have like severe emotional attachments to things and even though I know he's really outgrown it and I need to get rid of it, I can't right now so. It's just gonna sit there. And then I have his car seat that we put in the truck over there in the corner. But other than that, it's nice and clean. Oh, and I'll show you really quickly too if you haven't seen it. My little Santa warmer, this is from Cincy. He is absolutely adorable. You just take his little hat off and you can stick your wax melt in there. Actually, I might switch his out because I don't smell the scent that I put in there a few days ago. So let's switch that out really quick. And while I do that, I'll show you. This is a mess, so don't judge me, but this is where I keep all of my candles and scentsies and things like that. So I have like my scentsies in there and then down here I have candles. So, and then I have like all of my little Glade plugins and things like that. Um, what scent should we use? Maybe I kind of want to stick to a scent that's similar to the walnut raisin we might actually do cedar cider because look i've not even ever used one of these so and this was another fall scent and i need to kind of use those up so let's do cedar cider in there and um yeah the house is gonna be smelling so good I am going to use two this time. He's kind of small compared to my other warmers, but I think he can handle it. So, let's put the little hat back on. And I'm going to go dump these in the trash. Okay, so now we're in the kitchen. And as with most houses, you can see it gets messy pretty quickly. I probably clean my kitchen three times a day. And it just is what it is. So I have, this is like our catch-all space for some reason. And I'm going to show you something too in a minute with those shoes. But I have my daughter's books and some toys. And oh, these are so good. If you've never tried the tropical flavor Starburst, I got these when I was getting some stuff at Walmart the other day. But anyways, I also got this package in the mail. Okay, so quick, long story short, I have a pair of these Dr. Scholl's shoes in black and I love them. I've had them for like two years and they are so, so comfortable. They're in black, like I said, I wear them all the time. And so I wanted to get this tan color because I thought it was so beautiful. I'm a little nervous because it's like this suede material. I don't know how it's going to be to clean. But you guys, when they got here, they still had the security tag on them. So my husband thinks he can get it off. 
I could just take him into the store and do it, but we live 45 minutes from town, so it's kind of a pain in the butt. So I think he's gonna try to get it off, but I'm so annoyed because seriously, and Coles is notorious for doing that to me. Like, I don't know why, but I have had so many items that I've bought for them that they have forgotten to take the security tag off, so. Anyways, and then this happens every day. Coffee gets splattered up there, so I usually wipe that off every day. And then we just have some stuff from breakfast and lunch. I need to clean off his high chair tray. And this is where we had lunch this afternoon. This is Kinsley from Kinsley's breakfast. So it won't take me again. It won't take me long at all to clean all of this up. But this is the kind of stuff, if you let this go, it will just keep piling up and it will take you three times, four times as long to clean as it instead of just, I can't talk right, instead of just, um, how do I want to word that? It will take three to four times as long to do it unless you keep up with it and clean it just kind of as you go. You've been trying, trying since the day we met. You keep telling me I'm playing hard to get. I've been holding back, but now I'm on the edge. It's hard to fight these feelings, but you're so hard to forget. If I fall and fall and fall in love with you, love with you, there is no turning back, baby. That's the truth. It's the truth, now, baby. If I fall and fall and fall in love with you, with you, we'll be together, going to forever. going to throw these away and my daughter's gonna be so mad but I know so many moms are gonna be able to relate my daughter's into all those fidget things and these little squishy ball things are one of the popular toys and she got a whole box of them for her birthday and they're filled with these Orbeez which are these little like gooey balls and it got a hole in it and now we have Orbeez everywhere and she put them in a bowl. She's been playing with them for a couple of days, but honestly, they're like a choke hazard for my son and I just don't want them anymore and she's at school, so I'm throwing them away. Um, and also, I'm soaking, there's where she had pancakes, there's pancake syrup on here and that stuff dries hard, like hard candy, and it is so hard to get off, so I'm soaking that in some Dawn Power Wash and hoping and praying that it will come off here in a second.
such a fool, such a Okay, so I'm done in here. I'm not going to do the floors because it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon and I still have kids coming home from school and dinner to make. So it would be really pointless to do the floors. I know some might think it was pointless to clean up the counters, but I can't cook or think straight when my counters are dirty. So I like a clean kitchen to come in and make dinner. So. Everything is cleaned off and put away. I cleaned out the sink so it's pretty much clear. I keep this little thing to keep his bottles in throughout the day. And then um, once it's filled up, I wash them. And then I just keep this here because it's like a little drying rack. I dry like pacifiers and bottles and baby spoons and um, tumblers and stuff like that. That's Madeline's from school. Um, yeah, everything is clean. Hi. I actually got to put this back up on the counter. I know it's like an eyesore up here, but we actually use it. It functions. We set him up here all the time, like if I'm cooking and stuff like that. So I have to leave it there. It is what it is, but everything is clean except for the floors. I may do those tonight. More than likely, I would do those like tomorrow. Um, after I cleaned the kitchen, if I like get to it earlier, if that makes sense, if I got to, it, if it was like morning time when I clean, like I normally do actually do that routine in the morning, then I would do the floors. Um, but it's two o'clock. Kids are almost home from school, so I'm not even going to bother with it. That's a return I need to take to Target. But yeah, the kitchen is all clean now. So there are some shoes laying around that people know that they're supposed to put up and they just don't. Um, those are all my husband's except for my slippers. So if I just slide my slippers on and I'm gonna go put these shoes up and then I'm gonna come back and put his shoes up. We have this little cubby in here for shoes. It's supposed to be organized, but it's really not, but it is what it is. I'm actually probably going to let these stay here just so he has some slip-on shoes to slip on to run outside if he needs to. Do you want to go outside? We're not going outside right now. But I am going to put his shoes in the little coat closet. I keep this little bucket 
at the bottom of the stairs and I throw things in it throughout the day, mostly the kids stuff and they have to take it up and put everything where it goes. When I go outside and go potty, Bailey's gonna run down when she hears us open the door. Yep, there she comes. You wanna go outside? Go outside. I forgot that I wanted to switch out my little Scents and my Scentsy thing. This is not Scentsy, this is Walmart years and years and years and years and years ago but the Walmart ones work really well too if you want to spend a little less money. Honestly, I am not against the Walmart ones at all. I use them all the time and they're coming out with cuter ones as time goes on. The only reason I have some of the Scentsy ones because they are kind of expensive is because sometimes they're just so cute it's hard to pass up. Or if like I'm buying from a friend who's throwing a Scentsy party and I want to support their party or their business, um, then it helps me to, you know, justify spending the money. Okay, I need both hands to get this out. All right, so I'm putting two in him as well. I'm just trying to use up these fall scents because I have so many, but now the house is gonna smell so good. Come on, puppies. Come on, puppies. It's time to come inside. Good babies. Did you go potty? All right, can we sit like good babies? Sit. Sit. Yeah, it's a good girl. No, 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 ma'am. You almost stole that. We're going to get thumbs down now. Now you show them how well behaved you are. Good girl. Sit. Good boy. Okay, now we're going to head upstairs and do some of my chores up there. The baby is asleep, so we got to be really quiet. But I have a couple of things to take up. Just some razors that we got in the mail. We do Dollar Shave Club. And then a little pair of his pants that I actually need to put in the hamper. And I'm going to be carrying the tripod up as well. He is stirring. No, 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 no. It's not time for him to wake up, so I'm hoping he'll go back to sleep, but it doesn't look like it. So we may have company. I'm hoping he'll go back to sleep. I'm gonna turn his music on. Sometimes he'll go back to sleep, but usually he sleeps way longer than one hour. Okay. Look at him, look, he's like, what in the world? Okay, go back to sleep, Hank. All right, so this is my youngest daughter's room, and I'm actually going to be, let me turn the light on, switching out her laundry in here, or I mean her laundry, her bedding. It looks disgusting, but it's because she had an oil treatment in her hair and the oil stained the sheets. So it's okay, I'm taking this off anyways. I'm going to put her winter bedding on. Right now she has her beddies and she has a really nice, warm, comfy comforter that I got her from TJ Maxx last year. So I'm going to take all this bedding off and wash it and put on her winter bedding. And I think I might open the windows too because it is super warm outside, which is really strange. It feels like 70 degrees. I don't know what the temp actually is, but when I let the dogs out, I was like, whoa. So we're gonna open some windows and just straighten up in here.
Okay, so <laughs> we're in the laundry room and I'm going to wash her bedding before I store it up for the winter, but I'm also washing her blanket in here. It's in here somewhere. And I'm gonna show you the laundry products that I use. But I use the Persil Pro Clean, the intense fresh scent. And then I use the Suavitel, the blue one. It's field flowers scent. And then my favorite scent beads to use, if it'll focus, are the Downy Light and Ocean Mist. Love these. So I'll pour about mm, half a cap. All right, he's awake, so we're gonna get little man. Hello, little man. What are you doing? Do you have your sloth? Did you pull your sloth down? Yeah, you did. You're not supposed to do that, big boy. You're not supposed to do that. Yeah. Hello, this one has a nice nap. Did you have a nice nap? Say, what you got in my face, woman? What is that? What is that? Who you got? Ah, Timmy, that. let's see those teepers. I see teepers. I see teepers. Hello, gorgeous. Hello. Yeah, look at all that blonde hair. Okay, let's put your sloth back. And your little stash of inks. Get you out of your sack. You wanna get up with mama? Do you wanna get up with mama? Help me finish cleaning. I don't know if that's gonna be a good angle or not. Get out of here. We gotta fold your laundry. Mommy still feels like she has so much to do. Yeah. Come on. Oh, did you poop? Oh, I think you did. All right, so Hanky is up. We've changed his diaper, put some clothes on, and I'm debating on whether or not I wanna finish in here. Her new bedding is on, as you can see, so that's nice. And <laughs> this is laying out for tomorrow because she has her holiday party at school tomorrow, so I'm just gonna throw that up there. She needs to really clean all this up, but honestly, I was going to make her clean this up when she got out of school, but I honestly think I'm just going to do it right now in here. See, this is what I mean by fidget toys. Do you mamas know? Do you feel my pain? She has so many of these little fidget toys everywhere. And then I guess I'm going to put her headband up for her. This is her closet, and it's kind of dark in here, but this is where... I keep her headbands. This is her Halloween costume, and I don't know. Actually, I actually think part of this is still in my car. <laughs> I need to put that up somewhere. I've been meaning to do that since obviously November 1st, and it's still here. So I'm actually gonna, while I'm here, I'm gonna just throw that in the little thing that it came in and put that up really. So I put it in the thing and I just hung it up there for now because I know for a fact that the gloves that go with it are still in the car, so I've gotta have her grab those. And we can put them in there, and then I can put it up in the bin that I keep in the attic. Tucker, what do you think you're doing, man? What do you think you're doing? You think I put that bedding up there for you to lay on? Huh? You sugar sweet. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Here's the stress balls I was talking about earlier that are full of Orbeez. She has a whole box of them, yay. And I found a marker in her bed and this little Halloween fan. Okay guys, I'm going to throw this Halloween fan away. It opens up somehow. 
on my hair and do like a pumpkin. But it's honestly, it's just junk and I don't think she's going to miss it. So we're going to throw it away. I'm going to throw the marker away too. Grab her body pin and her hanger. She has another hanger right here. Let's see, so let's put her body pin in here, her hairbrush, and try to keep this organized as much as possible, but So this shelf I put in here not too long ago and I'm not sure how I want to do it yet. It's not like set up or decorated. We're just kind of using it to store stuff right now. This is all her little pet shops. So I think I'm just going to set those stress balls like that for now. And this is full of more of those fidget things and books I think. Are there books in here, Hinky? Yep, there's books in here. She's supposed to put these on her bookshelf, so we'll take those out if we can. Is that all of them? Yeah, this is just fidget stuff, so we'll put that bag right here. At least it's off the floor, and we'll go put our books on the bookshelf. What do you think? Sound like a plan? I think we're gonna call it a day in here. Her room is tidied up. You hear that wind coming through? Let's see. There. Are you dancing? Okay, so while we're up here, I'm gonna fold his laundry really quickly. And I have a few things to throw away. Ew. Okay, and I need to clean, I'm noticing. I don't know, you can't really see, but I need to clean under there. It's like dusty and Lord knows what else. So he's going to play. Tucker's going to chill. a sturdy laundry. <laughs> and I'm going to fold. throw dinner in the crock pot really quickly before I have to leave. Tonight is meal that I'm making is going to be very, very easy. And I thought I would share it with you guys because I think you guys might like it. So I just have some chicken. Um, I actually have, actually these are breast. I thought they were tenderloins, but tenderloins will work 
just fine if that's what you have because that's what I thought I had, but I don't have breast. But I'm just going to put these chicken breasts in the crock pot and I'm going to show you everything like step by step as I do it. Okay, so I have the chicken breast in there and now I'm going to put this crock pot brand savory herb chicken. This is so good. This is my favorite. So if you can find this, pick up as many as you can because they are so good. I use them a few different ways actually, but this is one of the ways. And then I'm also going to add in just one can of cream of chicken soup. I am going to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder on my chicken just because I use this in everything. And I'm going to sprinkle some bacon bits in mine as well. You can use fresh bacon if you have the time to fry some up but I don't because I'm fixing to leave the house like I said. So I'm just gonna throw this all in there and I'll be right back and show you. Okay, so everything is in there. I just sprinkled that in there. I don't add water or anything like that. The juices and the steam and everything create all of the moisture that I need. So I'm just going to put my lid on and I'm going to cook this on low for four hours, I think. So, or I mean, I'm sorry, I don't have a four hour low option. I'm gonna cook it, I'm gonna put it on low for eight hours, but it won't cook for that long. Um, actually, you know what? Just kidding. I might put it on high for four hours. That's what I'm gonna do, because <laughs> it is almost three and I wanna eat in four hours. So three, four, five, six. Yeah, definitely wanna eat in four hours. So I'm gonna put it on high for four hours, but either way you do it, low or high, I would cook it for about four hours. Um, and I think that that's a good amount of time for the chicken to be done. I guess it would just depend on if you do have tenderloins in there and they're thinner, they'll probably cook faster whether, um, versus whether you have like thick chicken breasts in there, they may take a little bit longer, but anyways, um, yeah, four hours and I'm going to show you the sides that I'm going to make with this. Okay, so for the sides, I'm gonna be making these Bob Evans mashed potatoes, the sour cream and chive. So far, all of the flavors from Bob Evans I've tried have been really good, but these Bob Evans mashed potatoes are legit, you guys. So um, all you do is you can heat them in the microwave or a pot. I just put mine on the stove top in a pot and just heat them and stir them up really good. They're so good, so quick and easy. And then I'm gonna do this frozen corn. I always add some butter and pepper but that's it. I steam it in the bag, add some butter and pepper. It's good to go. And then I'm going to serve with some Hawaiian rolls. So I will show you guys when everything is complete so you can see what it looks like, but hopefully this gives you guys a good, um, I guess, new idea for dinner. And as always, it's quick and easy. Some more.